man do you ever get to a point where everything just seems like a tornado like like whatever you do just just goes wrong like it's just it's just thing after thing after thing like one fire erupts in the middle of putting that fire out another fire erupts and that one thing that you did yesterday that that you believed brought you forward right and that was the break of the of the bad of the bad actions or the secrets of bad events right like fire after fire after fire and then you get one glimpse of hope and some good news and be like yes okay cool man finally shit's going and then another fire comes up and then another fire comes up and that one thing that made you just say yes ends up just deteriorating and falling through and you're like, man, what the fuck? Am I cursed right now? Like, literally, like, am I going through bad luck? And, you know, that sounds so silly to say. And so naturally we start thinking like, man, what the fuck? Are people against me? You start turning outwards because the mind is very powerful. The mind is 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 literally going to create your reality, right? There's this one saying that um, perception is 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 stronger than reality right it's actually what you perceive it's not it's not real it's just what you perceive and since you perceive it you since you perceive it and believe it it is your reality and so even in the heat of the moment when you're in that you know in that state of mind you're going to notice that it's very hard for people to pull you out you know, especially like positive people, like the positive people, you can't be around, you know, when you're in that mindset. Like if you've been in that mindset, I want I want you to comment below. Let me know like, oh man, D, I know exactly what you're talking about, bro. Like I was just there. Or some of you probably commenting right now like, bro, I'm there right now. That's why I'm on your fucking channel and shit. I need you to pep talk me the fuck up, bro. And that's exactly what I'm going to do today. I'm going to curse because I'm going to get passionate as fuck in this video. But I'm, it's for a good reason though, right? It's for all, all my videos are for good reason, man. Like, you know, if you take anything to heart, uh, any, of the, any of the message and you get mad, I want you to look in. I want you to look inward and be like, man, why does that bother me so much? And you're going to realize the reason why it bothers you so much is because it's you. It's about you. But why I say that this is all for good reason and there's good intent behind it is because in all reality, it's me, boo-boo. It's not just you, it's us. You get it? And so a lot of the things that I'm going through or, or that I experience throughout my day, I share here on this vlog. And I think that that is powerful because there are a lot of people out there. Man, some of these people got fucking 1.5 million followers, 300,000 followers. And I don't really pay attention to that shit. What I pay attention to is how much of an impact I can bring my audience. You know, how much, how much of an influence I could bring to those that watch my content. And if I'm doing good, then I know because you've shared, you've commented, you, you're hitting that like button. You know, you're giving me your timestamps of the, of the best part of the video. That's how I know I'm affecting you. So, so show me some love man like if you you know what i mean if you're on the road because a lot of you guys who, who follow the channel are on the road and you guys listen to me on your way through and i appreciate the attention i appreciate the view i appreciate you know the likes and the shares and and my message in today's video because i haven't gotten to the fucking topic yet is you know how do you how do you handle the storm right and when i'm talking about the storm the reason why i say the storm is because it literally is like a tornado it's because everything around you is just is spinning out of control and you feel like you're just in the center of it like nothing is going right like you 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 know when you're in that in that environment or when you're in that state of mind it's very 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 hard to think positive it's very 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 hard to be optimistic and to smile or to engage and to talk and I'm speaking from experience because I just literally went through that shit recently and I try my hardest to dig myself out because I have to lead a team. And so sometimes when I'm in this negative state, I just shut off. I shut off and I stay quiet and I focus, right? Until I build this momentum to help dig me out and make me understand that it's my perception. It's not, it's not necessarily what's real, it's what I believe is real. And so, and so I, you know, just the other day and, and, and you know, someone on my team, you know, they, they're going through it too and as we all are especially in this market right where you know she was going through just event after event after event and and she was i i could sense it you know just started small and this person is so positive she's so blessed to have such a, a strong attitude and a mindset um you know and and she's a hustler man like i i literally ho hope and pray that my daughter my daughter's has work has a work ethic and a, and a strong positive mindset like her, and the reason why is because I see it. You know, she's one of the strongest people on my team, 
and she's going through it. Like what I'm saying by going through it is, you know, she'll, she'll build up some traction, that traction will fall through. Those people will cancel, they'll go ghost, they'll pull out or they'll cancel at the last minute. And, you know, if you're in sales, just like us, you understand that, you know, when it gets close to closing or when you get close to the end of the month and you are at that tier or you are at this X amount, like it, it becomes sensitive because those got to go through. Like, man, I put in a lot of work. These better go through. And then next thing you know, one falls out and you're like, all right, it's fine. It's fine. It's OK. Stay positive. And then another thing happens. Appraisal comes back low and that one falls out and you're like, what the fuck? And, then, you know, and then you start getting a little little. Uh, angry and then something else happens and then and then internal things happen and just like and then outside things happen and all these things start to happen you're like what the fuck bro i'm just trying to stay positive i'm just trying to put in my work i'm just trying to make shit happen man i'm as positive as can be i'm supposed i'm doing what i believe or what i what i see are the right things and why the fuck is this all happening to me and i know that's probably happening to you or happened to you or will happen to you so so take from this experience what you can because i have empathy because she's my family right like she's my team this is my you know what i mean like i protect my, my 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 camp and and so i have to have empathy i can't necessarily go in on her right like man fuck that right like as if she's one of the one of the boys or one of the dudes or one of the guys and i'm not saying being sexist or anything i'm not saying she can't take it what i'm saying is that you have to be empathetic with the way you communicate right you have to you have to understand when to adjust and if you don't know how to adjust then you're gonna have a tough time selling and talking to specific crowds but anyway going back to the topic when i you know i'm gonna give you two ways right i'm gonna give you two ways to kind of look at it i'm gonna give you the empathetic way and i'm gonna give you the real shit way like the realest fuck way like and and i hope that you appreciate the realest fuck way i hope that you don't take it to heart and if you do take it to heart i want you to know why you take it to heart because it might just be pulling on some strings to to uh to show you what the fucking reality is right and some people man i had this one comment of a person who's very religious and i don't i don't have no disrespect against that you know like like we all i believe in a higher power we you know it's good to have religion it's good to have faith and there was they gave me props they was like hey man this person's genuine he knows his stuff but i have to unsubscribe because he curses like a sailor and uh and started mentioning you know bible verses of like hey people who cuss or curse are actually showing that they don't like god or or that they don't support god or whatever i'm like man what that don't make no sense so you mean to tell me <laughs> so you mean to tell me that the way i was raised the way i was wired the way i i talk define you know man that no you can't tell me what i believe what i have faith in. you can't tell you know but i didn't go in on it like hey man everybody has their own point of view if you decide if you try and change people that don't want to be changed or are already on this path it's kind of hard right so instead it's best to kind of blend in and go along this path and and that's one of the things that that one of the reasons why we feel like shit's getting out of control is because we're trying to change things we're trying to you know change reality instead of adapt to it and move on and so why i i believe that this is important to understand is because when you get there you're gonna want to quit you're gonna want to you know throw in town just say fuck it or you may very well react emotionally and when i say react emotionally i'm talking about emotional no lee like you slamming your fucking keyboard you're slamming your mouse you're, you're saying rude things to people who don't deserve it you might go off on your manager <laughs> you might go off on your vp right like you might send it a long drawn out ass email that could ultimately put you in a light that you don't want to be and and on that note you know if you ever get like emotional with it like on an email i want you to do me one solid i want you to do me a favor to protect you because ultimately what happens is when you hit that send and then and then that shit lingers in your head like fuck you know like damn did i just really send that email you try to pull it back but it's like failed <laughs> it's like oh shit they saw it you know and then you and then that's just lingering in your head so it's no good for you if anything get that shit out type it the fuck out use caps you know <laughs> use caps so you just feel aggressive use like three exclamation points fuck it use six you know what i mean like get your point out bold that bitch italic underline that motherfucking highlight it like whatever you got to do get that bitch out on a fucking email but don't put don't fill out the two field right just get that bitch out and just fucking 
just sing on that fucking email. Just like, you motherfucker, fuck you, blah, 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 blah. And write it all out. Like, that might not be you. You might be like, you know, hey, don't curse like a sailor. And I get that. That's cool. I appreciate that. So then don't curse. Don't use, just use fucking caps and, and all that bullshit. But just tear it, you know, uh, uh, really tear it up. Like, just put it all out there. But don't send it. <laughs> Right, it's important you don't send it. Like, just minimize it and then and then come back to it. But believe like you were about to send it, because what happens is, after you write that out, after you pull your heart out, and and a couple minutes goes by, you revisit that email, and this could be to anyone. This could be your boss, to your to your to your loved one, to your family. Um, it could be to your prospects. A lot of times, I've done it to my prospects. Like, man. So I, I reply back to a prospect and I just tear it up. Like, man, are you fucking serious? And I'd use, you know, um, kind of uh, uh, antagonizing comments and statements, like, like very sarcastic. Like, like I'm talking to them as if they're a kid and they don't understand the ABCs and shit. And and, uh, and I used to just fire that bitch off, send it, and then just kind of deal with the repercussions later. But uh, you know, I learned to 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 hold back, and so I'll, I'll minimize the email and come back like five minutes later and realize that all that shit was just emotional. And I thank God I didn't send it. Right, like woo, good thing I didn't send it, bro. Because one thing that one of my mentors taught me was that, hey man, like the you know the prospects are there to test you, right? Like things are just there to test you. You know, life is there to test you. But the reason why it's testing you is because you asked for it, right? Like you wanna be great, you're gonna be tested. If you don't wanna be great, then just lay low, don't do shit. Like you're just gonna be ungreat, right? And it made a lot of sense because, you know, as you try and climb and as you try and be great, you're gonna come across these challenges. It's kinda like just the cost, right? It's like the it's the ticket you pay to enter. And if you if you pay it, right, and you maneuver through it and you pass it then you're going to be all right. You're going to make it through. And so I want to share with you, you know, anyway, I got to wake up my son. You know, I help him, you know, we both work out. So we, we jog and I'm, I'm trying to get him prepped up. He's going into football season. So I'm gonna cut this short. I know I went on this little rant, but I need you to understand that there are two ways to look at this. When you get in this mindset, I want you to know that I'm empathetic with you too. I want you to know that I've been through it. And so for the last 10 minutes, I shared empathy of how we go through it. Like I understand it. I get it. But at the same time, I need to talk to you and be that coach. I need to hold you accountable because at the end of the fucking day, right, regardless of whatever the fuck happens, you're going to move on. You're going to move forward. It will be the next day. And when you wake up the next day, I don't want you to fucking wake up and regret what the fuck you did the day before. So if you got to unplug Right. If you got to go take a day off, if you got to go walk out the building and and text your manager or fucking email your manager or email your VP or whoever the fuck that, hey, man, like I'm just not in the right state of mind. You know, I just need to unplug. I need to go do me. I need to figure myself out. I need to be in silence because this shit happens to us when we're nonstop. Go, go, go. And we're working six, seven days a week when we're plugged into our emails at home and, and we just catch ourselves waking up, going straight to our inbox and then and then just filtering data all day long, handling issues on our day off. We don't stop working. And the brain, when it doesn't unplug, when it doesn't when it doesn't stop processing information, it's like a computer. You ever get a computer that overheats and that shit just like you hear the fans turn on shit like, oh shit, this motherfucker's about to blow up. Well, that's kind of like our brain. Our brain just, it kind of mushes and then it just freezes, right? Like like our brain will, will, you'll be in the middle of your day. You just can't fucking focus. Like I get it. That's what I'm saying, empathy. But at the same time, I'm gonna be that voice that holds you accountable. And this is how, look, you are you, right? Like if you, if you, allow things you can't control to determine your your outcome your result that's on you boo boo like you get it so if you in other words if you choose to blame everything but your fucking actions that's on you boo boo you got to understand that wherever the fuck you are right now mentality wise physically what you know financially everything every motherfucking thing right now how you feel at that fucking moment is is the direct result of all the fucking actions that you took and you might be like yo d but man i'm doing everything right like i'm positive and i'm, I'm blah 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 yeah that's what you want to see but when you get real fucking honest with yourself and you fucking get that self-awareness kit like kicking in your brain right like you self-aware as fuck like you you really admit shit because it's just you 
right? You don't need to fucking be out there talking to people and say, yeah, admitting your feelings. You're not at fucking church. You're not, you know, giving a confession. Like, talk to yourself. Go inside a car. Go go in the dark-ass room. Go meditate and really analyze your fucking decisions. Because what you're feeling and why you're burnt out and why you're doing this is because of you. It's not because of your manager. It's not because of the market. It's not because of the price. It's not because of the cost. It's not because of this dude or that dude or him or her. Right? The only way, only thing that you can be using external things is for just a fucking cation. Just a fucking cation. Justification. You know what I mean? I just want to curse so bad because I get passionate on this fucking subject, man. What I'm talking about by justification is when you look externally and you see him, her, him, 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 her, 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 and they're fucking eating. What I'm talking about eating is they're fucking doing it. Right? They're taking the fucking situation that you thought was fucking tough and they're making it work and they're fucking winning with it. That is because they chose to own the fuck up. They chose to, to, to look inward and instead of looking inward and say, man, what the fuck are you doing and looking for problems? They're looking for fucking solutions. And so that person took that fucking same circumstance and made that bitch work. And so that should be justification as to why you could do it too. But if not, do it better. Does that make sense? Take that as a fucking challenge. Like, hey man, how come this motherfucker isn't burnt out? Hey man, how come that motherfucker is eating? Hey man, how come this person is so fucking positive? You get it? Because if you decide to give up, if you decide to quit, if you decide to go search for that greener side, if you decide to throw in the white towel, believe me, bro, you're going to face that shit the next day. And when you face that shit the next day, and should you regret that fucking action you took, guess what? That bitch is going to anchor you the fuck back. It's going to take a minute. It's going to take a long ass minute to fucking tear off those weights, to tear off that anchor, to tear that bitch out of your mind. And, and ultimately what you're doing is you're just trying to melt away the regret. And regret is some bullshit, man. You don't want regret in your fucking life. You don't want to look back and be like, what the fuck did I just do? Because that shit weighs on you. You get it? And so I hope you get this message now before it gets that far because at the same time I want to be empathetic with you. I need to hold you accountable. I need you to tell I need to tell you like it is. Because if no one's telling you like it is and you don't want to listen to how it is because your support group or your fucking best friend or your your homies, your your circle, your work group, they're going to tell you all that fluff shit. They're gonna all, they're gonna tell you all that all that fucking love shit, right? Like, oh, it's okay, you know. Hey, it's cool. You got this. You got that. It's cool. It's better times, you know. Fucking, you could be a, a shoulder to cry on for for that person, but at the same time, someone needs to tell them the fucking truth. You need to wake the fuck up, right? Like you, hey, all this fucking bitching, moaning, crying, and all this weeping and all this regretting bullshit, man. You, <laughs> What the fuck does that do for you? Ain't nobody care about that shit. Ain't no manager out there. Ain't no VP. Ain't no fucking body care about that shit. Because why? Because they got their own fucking drama. They got their own fucking problems. And you know what? They're trying to figure it the fuck out themselves. So while you're trying to, you know, attract this fucking empathy and be like, man, feel sorry for me. Hey, man, I'm going through it. We got to wake the fuck up. And, I, and I'm guilty of it, too. Man, I used to, man, I'm guilty of it too, so I understand it. But when I when I look inward, I I have to find myself to talking to myself like I do, you know what I mean, like I'm doing right now. Like I have to tell myself that I'm the only motherfucker that can really hold myself accountable, right? I'm not looking for for it from anyone else, right? Like I'm not looking for it from my wife, from my manager, from my leader. I need to rely on my motherfucking self. Because ain't nobody going to fucking make my day right b stronger than I can. Ain't nobody going to gonna take control of my current time and determine my, my destination like I can. In other words, ain't nobody driving this motherfucking shit but me. And so I hope these words ring true, man. I hope you dig out, you know, through the curse words and through the aggressive tone. I hope you dig out the positive message. And you fucking, it, this shit makes you stronger as you move forward. Because I want you to understand that regardless of, of, of how you feel at that time, when you're in that state of mind, you need to wake the fuck up. And remember that everyone fucking goes through it. See, the thing is, is how you go through it determines how you're going to be when you go through it and after you, you know, go through that bitch. Because if you went through it weak, 
If you went through it like you just fucking quit and try to run away from it, guess what's going to happen when you, you know, the next day? You're just going to wake up and you're going to be that fucking person that ran away. You're going to be that fucking person that gave up. You're going to be that fucking person that just continues blaming. And that shit ain't going to take you nowhere but fucking blame land and shit. Like, just, you know, you know you're in blame land because ain't nobody moving, ain't nobody progressing, ain't nobody moving forward, ain't no one eating, no one's getting paid, right? But, but it's just a bunch of fucking people complaining, moping, you know what I mean? Crying, whining and shit, pointing fingers and just blaming life. Like, whoa, the fuck is me? But we don't do that around here, around these parts. So I'm so glad you found the channel. And I'm so glad that we get to spend some time together each and every single fucking day. I want you to wake someone up who may be in that state of mind, in your circle, one of your friends, one of your camp, one of your family who's going through that shit, wake them the fuck up, send them this link, send them this video and be like, yo, bro, you got to check this shit out, man. Tell me this shit isn't speaking to you. And, uh, and maybe they'll subscribe, comment and timestamp their favorite part of this video. I appreciate you guys' time. Don't forget to check out the sale. There's a link below. It takes you straight to salesremaster.com. At the very bottom of the, uh, of the website, there's this free sales script, man. I'm telling you, a lot of the shit that we go through and that, that, that frustration that we muster up or we collect and ultimately explode is because we're having a tough time in other things. So we may have a, be having a tough time in originating sales. And so while we're putting out all these fires, we don't see sales coming in and we feel like we're going backward. We feel like we're going down. Well, I got this fire ass sales script that's going to help you continuously keep that momentum because ain't nothing stronger for your confidence than winning ain't nothing stronger for your confidence than knowing that you are making it that you are successful that's how you you beat that mind that state of mind there's this one saying and i'll and i'll end it with this um and i found it on um this this uh this painting man it, it rings true it's so true and it's that work ethic eliminates fear Think about that shit, because it shit's true. I'll see you on the next video. Bye. Pump talk and get to it. Hard nigga here. Rip hard, really do a hard nigga here. We can buy the boy all night.